In this presentation, we will calculate the Federal Income Tax Withholding or FIT Withholdings. We are here in the payroll register. We're currently calculated up through total earnings, that being the addition of regular pay and overtime pay. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it giving us total earnings. Now we're gonna go through and calculate the FIT wages. The FIT wages will differ from total earnings, total earnings uh, including everything, whereas FIT is gonna be reduced by some things that would be not includable in gross pay for our 1040 reporting at the end of the year. Those would be the above the line deductions on our 1040 which would include a cafeteria plan if, the, uh, if it was a section 125 plan and the retirement plan. So that's how these two numbers could differ. Note that this, this is really our full compensation. What we're doing now is trying to reduce it by those things that um, will reduce our taxable gross income or adjusted gross income. So we're gonna, to do that, first we gotta get our FIT and we gotta subtract out the uh, cafeteria plan and retirement plan. I'm just going to give us a number for what the what the retirement plan uh, deductions will be. These are going to be amounts that are taken out of the employee's total earnings in order to arrive at the net check. Typically, these are going to be voluntary plans. They're going to be things that aren't required to be pulled out, such as uh, FIT, for example, but voluntary things that the uh, employer can offer and the employee can accept to uh, participate in. And if they do, it will reduce um, FIT wages and therefore FIT withholdings and federal income taxes in general. So we're gonna say that the cafeteria plan is 250 and we're gonna say that the retirement plan is 35. These of course will vary from plan to plan, from company to company and uh, employee option to employee option. So then we're gonna go to our federal income tax wages and we're gonna say that this equals our total wages minus those two items that will be reduced from gross pay for the calculation of uh, federal income taxes. So we'll subtract those out. So here's gonna be our FIT page, federal income tax wage. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna go to our uh, tables, the good old circular E. This is the circular E. We're looking up that $471.50 in the circular E. Now, first we need to find the, the right place here. So I'm going to scroll down to um, payroll wages or payroll withholdings in 21. And then I'm just going to keep scrolling down until we find our tables that we're looking for. So uh, then once we, so here's the percentage tables and we're looking for uh, these tables down here. And uh, we're, we're weekly payees, so we're looking for weekly. And then we need to know the number of exemptions. So if we go back to uh, our employee, we're saying uh, single, one exemption. So uh, single, one exemption. So we've got our table here. We have uh, the single bracket for weekly, one exemption. Then we're gonna look through which bracket we're in here from zero to 70, 75, or 75, 75 to 80. 80 to 85 and so on and so forth we're looking for 471 dollars so if we scroll down looking for 471 so here's 470 to 480. now this is the zero column we're looking for one allowance so i believe it's this 35 we're looking for this 35 because that's in the one column and it's in between this range so we'll go back to our Excel sheet then. We're gonna say 35 is here, and that'll be the withholding. 